Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 28th. I can't get this week right for some reason, but <laughs> it is what it is, Aquarius, right? I never know what day it is anyway. But uh, Aquarius, we are going to jump right in here and see what's going on for you. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also, everybody, please be careful on social media. Only follow my official social media accounts down below. There's a ton of scammers now uh, that Instagram refuses to take down, even though they scam people, uh, and they are pretending to be me. I will never contact you for social uh, for uh, um, personal reading. I do not and never will do personal readings. Uh, also, again, I will never contact you asking for money or saying that I need help or anything like that. I can help myself. <laughs> Trust me. But, uh, you know, just be careful. Again, there's like a ton of them. They contact my followers and everything like that. So uh, there you go. But let's get started. You start off with the justice card here. I like this. Could be seeing someone get their justice. Hopefully one of these scammers, you know, gets bounced or gets thrown in jail or something like that, right? But uh, anyway, I feel like there is, you are seeing someone uh, or you are getting justice in some way. You even have the King of Swords. King of Swords could be your energy, Aquarius, but King of Swords is also law and order. So I do feel like some of you, it's like order is being restored. And that's literally what I'm getting here with this energy. It's like something you've been waiting for for a very long time with the Temperance card. Because Temperance is like really working at it. You know, Temperance is uh, a card of, let's just put this down. Temperance is, you know, pouring water back and forth between these two cups. It's like a card of turning water into wine. So I feel like an energy of like really working at something or really trying to make something happen here. And uh, what, what I'm referring to is some sort of improvement here. Um, but I do feel like some of you could be getting like news that someone has received their karma. And this could be in love, but it doesn't have to be. It could be in any other area of their life or your life, I should say. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like very swift movement. I would be very careful with your thoughts here as well. Eight of Wands is your thoughts. You know, as Esther Hicks says, uh, we are always, you know, telling the universe what we want. She calls it our rockets of desire, but, you, you know, these are meant to be arrows, actually. But it's like we're always telling the universe what we want. I feel like the Temperance card here is saying, and also the Justice card, by the way. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. The Temperance card is saying, be careful of your thoughts because you will get exactly what you're wishing for with that Temperance card. Justice is cause and effect. It literally says, wherever, whatever we're thinking about the most is exactly what we're going to get. And again, the King, the, the King of Swords, I feel like, is just you showing up in a very strong position. I love that. Yeah, you have the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands is wholehearted energy. Queen of Wands says, like, in life, there are certain things, you know, there are certain things in life where we can put all our time, effort, and energy into those things. There are other things that steal energy from us. Queen of Wands wants us to do the things where we can put our heart and soul into those things. That includes relationships, businesses, uh, health, spirituality. Queen of Wands says, like, do the things you want. I, I think, like, today, because of social media, probably, <laughs> it's like, there are too many people who are like, oh, you have to, you have to follow this diet, for example, and that's the only diet that works, right? But it's like, maybe it doesn't work for you. And uh, I think the Queen of Wands shows up to remind us of that, that it's like, yeah, it's like everybody could be saying, do this and, or do this for your business or do that or do that for your health or do this or do this for love or do that for love. But it's like, what's true for you? Queen of Wands wants you to do the thing where you can put your heart and soul into it. If you can't, there's no point. It's not going to work. And I think that's what maybe you're starting to realize. Now you have the King of Cups. Definitely love coming in here. Wouldn't really surprise me to see the Emperor show up. You have the Empress, you know, divine counterparts. And basically, we're only missing the King of Wands, which would make the Emperor if we get the King of Wands here. And you have the Eight of Wands. Like I said, I feel like there's good news uh, coming in for you at this time as well. Pretty good reading, Aquarius. I like this quite a bit. And um, I would just say, really, the first row is saying, focus on your thoughts. Think of the things that you want, not the things you don't want. Uh, you even have this frog spirit, and this card says clear out the clutter. Definitely, I definitely am a big fan of clearing out the clutter right now, especially with the astrology. Like, the more space we can make, the better. And we're just making space for things that we want, right? So the more we can clear out stuff we don't need, like literally physically as in items or um, as in mental space, the better. Uh, also a card of transmutation, by the way. And you have the uh, temperance card, which is a card of alchemy. And, you know, both cards, you know, frogs go under a transformation. They go from a tadpole to a frog. So for some of you, something is becoming, I feel like there is a transformation happening here where it's like something is becoming more solid. I almost feel like saying, saying something is becoming more believable as well. And that's, um, something is changing. <laughs> what is this? Uh, you have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess. 
and the Three of Cups. Something has been very mysterious for you, I feel. Something has been a mystery, like, you know, is this real? Is it fake? Um, you know, should I take this risk? I'm getting like all, I'm getting like a rush of questions. What I would, that's what I would call it, where, and, and I, this to me would be like mind racing energy, where maybe your mind has been racing, I feel, with this um, high priestess energy, where it's just like, there's all these possibilities, right? And you're like, which one's gonna work? Which one's gonna lead to the Empress here? And that's what I feel like you're trying to figure out. The Page of Cups is a dream. It's like, you know, Page of Cups is, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Page of Cups, he's imagining this fish right here in this cup. So I feel like for some of you, it's like, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if I had this? Or wouldn't it be nice if, if I was with this person? Or wouldn't it be nice? Those, those are like the words that I'm getting here on the Page of Cups. This, and the Three Cups is a celebration. Something is becoming real. But it's like you need to believe it or you're starting to believe it on a very deep level. In a lot of ways, I get like a certain level of maturity here as well, Aquarius, because for some of you, it's like, something, I feel like something is becoming very real. It's like sometimes I think this happens in relationships, right? Where it's like we're dating a person. It's like we, we know we're, we know that we're dating them. We know that we're with, we're with them, but it doesn't, you know, it kind of doesn't feel real. You know, I don't know if you've ever been in one of those where you, it kind of almost feels like too dreamy. You know, it almost feels like it's not, not real. And what I feel like is happening here is it's like something is kind of coming out on land. Something is going from the emotional to the logical or, you know, something is becoming more grounded in reality. And I do feel like it could be a relationship. For some of you, I feel like it's almost like this is something that never got off the ground. I feel like, you know, if you've ever seen tadpoles swimming in water, it's like they're just like, they're like little, they're all like jittery, you know, they like jitter around. And for some of you, I feel this could be a connection where maybe you had a connection with a person that never really got off the ground. And for some of you, I feel like it's getting grounded. For others, this is a dream because the page of cups is dreaming of that fish that's in the cup. But it's like you need to grab onto that cup to make something a reality with that card. The thing with the Page of Cups is like, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like we could we could be trying to do something a lot. I always say, you know, there's like a meme out there as well where it basically says it's like what most people think success looks, looks like. It's like a straight line to success. And then it's like what success really is. And it's like a line that's all like jittery, right? And that's what I'm talking about here where it's like you're – I feel like you're finally um, finding success. You could be getting some karmic justice because um, – you know, in a lot of ways, it's like you're finally finding success is kind of like what I, is what I feel like saying. Uh, let's see where this is going. Uh, you have the Two of Cups. Definitely could be a perfect match coming in for you in love. So if you're looking for love, could be love. Yeah, you have the Magician here as well, attracting something into your life. And you have the Hermit here as well. Mm, for a lot of you, I feel like, again, Hermit would make sense. Hermit is like going through the dark night of the soul, trying to find your guidance. Remember, like I said, I feel like you were just that little aimless tadpole going like swimming all over the place. And the Hermit is kind of like finally becoming that frog, right? Finally understanding where you're going in life, what you need to do. Magician is like a new beginning. I feel like something new uh, coming in for you here. I really feel like this is saying don't wait, you know? I, in a lot of ways, I kind of feel like the universe, like I feel like you're, the best way I could verbalize this as well is like karma. Uh, like, I feel like the universe is almost paying you back for good energy that you've put out there. And, but, like, it's like something has been proven to you time and time again. Um, I don't really have a good answer for this. Um, what I would say is that for some of you, you could be in relationships. And, and it's like I feel like someone has always been there for you, right? But maybe you have abandonment issues, right? And I feel like the universe is like saying we've – you know, or the universe is like saying, I've proven to you multiple times that this person's not going to leave. So I feel like for some of you, it's like kind of saying the proof is in the pudding, right? I feel like you need to look at the proof, what's right in front of you, because it's like deep down inside, you know that something is for you. You have this deep knowing card here, Aquarius. I feel like it's saying like deep down inside, you know that if you're with a person that they're going to be there forever. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is permanence. It is uh, everything you want. Same thing in work or business. I feel like some of you could be could have a job or you could be in a business and I feel like you're fearing that it's going to run away, that it's basically going to disappear. I'm really only getting two things in your reading, um, work, business, financial life, and also love life. So for a lot of you, I feel like the issues or the things that you're thinking about this week um, center around those ideas. I feel like that King of Pentacles is like saying deep down inside, you know that something is for you. You, you know that something is right for you. So it's like stop questioning it. Three of Wands, I feel like, is like saying it's time for you to make a deeper commitment or, you know, it's time for you to make a move. Three of Wands waiting for a perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. So Three of Wands really asks us to take action or to make something happen. And then you have the Empress, which is like a lot of abundance and a harvest. It's like you're finally getting your harvest here, Aquarius. Pretty simple reading. 
but I love it. It's amazing. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups. Yes, let go of the fears uh, with this energy for some of you. And it's like you're stepping into the unknown here, but you're walking towards the Nine of Cups wish here. So I feel like some of you just need to let go of the thinking that things are not going to work out. And you have the Seven of Cups, crazy. So Seven of Cups is like hard needing to focus. I would definitely focus at this time. Like I was saying at the beginning of the reading, I feel like you're going to manifest exactly what you feed with that Justice card and the Temperance card. It's like, if you're thinking that something is gonna work out, it's gonna work out. If you're thinking that something is gonna fail, it's gonna fail, plain and simple uh, with that first row. So I feel like you really need to focus your energy. Where is this going, Aquarius? As you know, I've been talking this whole time, but I, I have no clue where this is going. You have the higher friend, marriage. For some of you, it's like you could be making that final commitment to a person where you get married <laughs> because you know it's just gonna last. King of Pentacles is forever. You have the justice card again. Again, you will receive exactly what you feed this week. And you have the two of cups, perfect match. Again, it, clearly, um, if you are in a love connection, I feel like this is a perfect connection. Two of Cups here um, twice. Then you have the Three of Cups, which is, could be a celebration. Uh, and you have the Hierophant as well, marriage. Um, justice really is about cause and effect. For some of you, I feel like you could be kind of going through a divorce. But again, Law and Order on the King of Swords, that would tell me that you're ending a situation. You know, something is coming to an end, basically. So if, you've, if you're going through a divorce, it's kind of like you're ending the situation, which again would just be leading to a new connection. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, you have Victory, um, again, Justice on the Ace of Swords here. You have the uh, Page of Cups here as well. Again, I feel if you're dealing with a personal love, remember what I was saying? Like, I feel like if you're dealing with a personal love or um, even in business or just a friend, right? I feel like they have proven time and time again that they're not going to leave or that they're reliable or whatever. So it's kind of like, you know, I do feel like this is asking you to like open up to trust a little bit. Justice is pretty simple as far as trust is concerned because, again, it's cause and effect. It says you give a little, wait wait for the other side to give a little, and then it's safe for you to give a little. Then, you know, it's like that back and forth type of energy. So it's like saying as long as you're paying attention and not blindly trusting, you'll be fine here. And I, like, I feel like there's a difference between, um, you know, trusting blindly and not trusting and, and, and trusting while paying attention, right? So that's kind of like what I'm getting here. And you have the Six of Cups. I could, I can't get away from the fact that I feel like for some of you, it's like, I don't think you're necessarily going back to a person with that frog card, but put that frog card down. And I'll just tell you what I got is that some of you could have been in like a situation ship or you could have been dealing with a person. For some of you, I feel like you're, I, again, I hesitate to say getting back with that person. I don't think you're necessarily getting back with that person. Some of you could just be, you know, making peace with someone here from the past. You could just be becoming friends with a person from the past, right? Um, or some of you could be marrying a person from the past. But again, I don't, like what I would say to you is that I, uh, just intuitively, I feel this was more of a situationship, not really a relationship in the first place. Again, something is going from a tadpole chaos, right? You're going from a chaotic force to a frog, like something that is grounded in reality, something that can go back and forth between emotions and also something that is grounded. It's like you're taking, it's almost like you're taking something out of the dream world here, Aquarius, something that was just a figment of your imagination and you're making it uh, real, uh, which is lovely. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be living the dream here, uh, Aquarius. And I think that's really good. Again, the only thing that will hold you back is your fears. Again, I constantly get comments from bozos that are just like, you said I was going to be, you know, I was going to create my own little Disneyland. And I, my life was going to be amazing. Never said that, right? And this requires work. I can guarantee you every single bozo that leaves one of those comments is just still sitting in their mama's basement doing nothing, right? It's like, yeah, this requires work. Tarot is not magic. It's not going to magically make something happen for you. So it's like, yeah, you have to do the work. It's like someone even said uh, to me the other time, which I, 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 one of my favorite comments of all time is uh, people say, you might as well be reading Pokemon cards. I'm like, well, listen, I, can, I could read Pokemon cards if I wanted to intuitively, and it would be better than anything uh, tarot-wise probably because, I don't know, I can get anything off of any card basically. But uh, number two, it's like, yeah, this it, it's not magic. It requires work, right? So yes, I'm going to tell you you have to do work. Uh, sorry right? Um, but uh, this is really good. I feel like there's definitely a truth here. A uh, rant over, but um, looks good. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.